Hi friends, welcome to Career Sound. In today's session, we will discuss about Ivy League. Those who are from the education industry will understand what you mean by Ivy League. Okay. So, students, those who are looking for admission outside India, especially in US, they will of course prefer Ivy League colleges. So in today's session, I just want to give you an idea about the Ivy League colleges. Okay, so what do you mean by Ivy League? It is also known as the Ancient Eight. It is also known as the Ancient Eight. So it's a group of eight private allied colleges and universities with academic excellence, selectivity in admissions and significant history. Okay, so the Ivy League colleges are Harvard University, Cambridge, Yale University from Connecticut, Princeton University, New Jersey, Columbia University, New York, Brown University, Rhode Island, Dartmouth College, New Hampshire, University of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, and Cornell University, New York. These are the famous universities from US. So in today's session, we will discuss a few points related to this Ivy League colleges. When you look at education outside India, especially in US, we will be selecting a major and we will be selecting a minor. So a major is a subject that's the main focus of degree. Most of the courses will be in major and we will graduate with a degree in that major. Example, public health, history. Now, what do you mean by a minor? The minor gives extra knowledge on a specific matter. Although we don't have to have a minor, the secondary specialization was created to give the student a competitive advantage on the job market. The major is the main specialization and the minor is a secondary one. So when you look for graduation outside India, you should know these two words. What do you mean by major and what do you mean by minor? I hope this part is quite clear. Okay. So those who are looking for education outside India, always search for major and minor. You will have a Lots of subject coming under this. It is always not necessary that major and minor need to have a connection. See, for example, if your major is science stream, you can select something related to your passion. Okay, in that way, you can select your minor, a subject which you are quite passionate about it. Then you can select as a minor. Moving on to the first session of our discussion. That's about Harvard University. So can you see the beautiful campus? It is established in 1636 and named for its first benefactor, clergyman John Harvard. Clergyman John Harvard. Whenever you look for a university outside India, always you have to check about the acceptance rate. So here it is 5.2 percentage. Harvard has three main campuses, the 209-acre Cambridge campus centered on Harvard Yard, an adjoining campus immediately across the Charles River in the Alston neighborhood of Boston, and the medical campus in Boston's Longwood Medical Area. So as you know, right, when you want to pursue your education outside India, uh, especially in US, you have to think about the SAT score. So here the SAT score, which the university accept is between 1400 to 1600. Howard is a large, highly residential research university offering 50 undergraduate majors, 134 graduate degrees and 32 professional degrees. Okay, more details related to this, you can search for it. I just want to give an idea about the Ivy League. So for a common man, they may not be knowing what is Ivy League. Next, we will discuss about Yale University. It is another older university from the United States. It is founded in 1701 as a collegiate school. It is the third oldest institution of higher education in the United States. 
Yale is organized into 14 constituent schools. The original undergraduate college, the Yale Graduate School of Arts and Sciences and 12 professional schools. Its acceptance rate at 6.3 percentage. SAT score, what the university demand, it's between 1410 to 1590. Yale College undergraduate follow a liberal arts curriculum with departmental majors and are organized into a social system of residential colleges. It offers 84 majors and 2000 courses in different fields at the undergraduate level. It offers graduate programs and professional study leading to MS, MA, MPhil and PhD degrees in over 200 departments and programs. The most popular majors are political science, economics, history, computer science, molecular biology, cellular biology and developmental biology. Okay, so can you see the beautiful campus here? I have not represented all the campuses, the major campus I am representing here. Next, we will discuss about another famous university which is coming under Ivy League. It's a Princeton University from New Jersey. It is founded in 1746 in Elizabeth as a college of New Jersey. Princeton is the fourth oldest institution of higher education in the United States. Its acceptance rate is 6.5 percentage. The university demands a SAT score between 1410 to 1600. It provides undergraduates and graduate instruction in the humanities, social sciences, natural sciences and engineering. It offers professional degree through the Princeton School of Public and International Affairs, the School of Engineering and Applied Science, the School of Architecture and the Benim Center of Finance. The university also manages the Department of Energy's Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory. It offers 39 distinct undergraduate degrees concentrated into 36 majors within 16 broad fields of study. See, in all the sessions when I'm explaining about the university, I'm not actually going in depth related to the degrees or the majors which field they are exactly offering. In the next session, we will discuss about the Columbia University. It is from New York. Can you see this beautiful campus? Columbia is the oldest institution of higher education in New York and the fifth oldest institution of higher learning in the United States. Its acceptance rate is six percent each. The SAT score, what they demand, it's between 1390 to 1570. It offers 90 distinct undergraduate degrees concentrated into 70 majors within 21 broad fields of study. It offers education in health, law, public affairs, liberal arts, engineering, applied science and general studies. Next we are going to discuss about Brown University at from Rhode Island. Can you see a campus here, a beautiful campus. It is founded in 1764 as a college in the English colony of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations. It is the seventh oldest institution of higher education in the United States. Its acceptance rate is 9 percentage. Fact score, what they demand, it's between 1330 to 1540. Brown University offers 93 distinct undergraduate degrees concentrated into 59 majors within 21 broad fields of study. Okay, next we will discuss about the Dartmouth College. So another beautiful campus you can see here. It is established in 1769 by Elser Willock. It is the ninth oldest institution of higher education in the United States. Its acceptance rate is 10.3 percent each. University demands SAT score between 1350 to 1560. Following a liberal arts curriculum, the university provides undergraduate instruction in 40 academic departments and interdisciplinary programs, including 57 majors 
in the humanities, social sciences, natural sciences, and engineering, and enables students to design specialized concentrations or engage in dual degree programs. It comprises of five constituent schools, the original undergraduate college, the Giesel School of Medicine, the Thayer School of Engineering, the Tuck School, the Tuck School, and the School of Graduate and Advanced Studies. The university also has affiliations with the Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center, the Rockefeller Institute of Public Policy, and the Hopkins Center for the Arts. You have to just concentrate on the acceptance rate and SAT score. This is what first you have to think about. Now we are going to discuss about the University of Pennsylvania. It is established in 1740 by Benjamin Franklin. Its acceptance rate is 9.4 percentage. The university demands SAT score between 1360 to 1540. It has four undergraduate schools as well as 12 graduate and professional schools. Schools enrolling undergraduates include the College of Arts and Sciences, the School of Engineering and Applied Science, the Wharton School and the School of Nursing. Its one university policy allows students to enroll in classes in any of Penn's 12 schools. Its undergraduate students have the opportunity to pursue nearly 100 majors. Its undergraduate students have the opportunity to pursue nearly 100 majors. In the next session, we will discuss about the Cornell University from New York. It is founded in 1865 by Isra Cornell and Andrew Dixon. Its acceptance rate is 14 percentage. The university demands a SAT score between 1320 to 1520. The university is broadly organized into seven undergraduate colleges and seven graduate divisions at its main Ithaca campus. It offers nearly 80 majors and 100 fields of graduate study with opportunities for further exploration in 18 minors. So I hope now at least you have an idea about the colleges or universities which is coming under the Ivy League about its acceptance rate and about the SAT score, what we require to pursue our higher education in these universities. Now, I just want to give you an idea what all things you require. There is an application process. So first you require is the application form. Now you require your academic documents. That means what you completed about your board score and all. Next, they require the test scores. SAT SAT score is preferred, IELTS, TOEFL, etc. Now some of the universities will give you an essay question and they will ask you to present one essay. Then LOR is required, that means a letter of recommendation. In most of the university they will give you a link. In that only you have to submit, means the person who is going to recommend you had to submit the details. In that link, school forms, activities list, you know about Ivy League, right? Most of the university, they ask you to give the list of your activities which you have done in the society. Now, you require a good portfolio. Now, depends on the university. They may ask you to submit some other documents. In this session, I have not gone in depth regarding the Ivy League, how the application process has to be done how you will get selected but i just gave you an idea about the ivy league colleges okay i hope you will benefit from this session thanks a lot for listening bye